Hello, this is Albert Gurrier, and welcome to another edition of Sam and Synapsis. It's been a long, long time since I've done one of these, but there was something on my mind that I wanted to get out in video form, as opposed to typing. I might try to get into doing these a little bit more often, get back to the swing things, but I'm just not sure how schedule and all that's going to go. But, by all means, let's go ahead and get this segment underway. There have been times when I've gone into an empty building. Would be places that usually are designated as places where one might hold like a wedding reception or a get-together or a family reunion. Um, sometimes they put a bingo board on the wall, play some bingo. They're making it since its own bingo hall. It, but I've but there's many times that I've walked into an empty building like this where there's pretty much nothing there yet. Sometimes you might have some tables and chairs from previous from previous outings there, but for the most part it's sometimes empty. So what you do is you go out and you in some case you get you remove the tables, you remove the chairs, then the fun part begins because then you bring in a wrestling ring. And you're setting that thing up. You got you got your pads. You got your got your frame. Got your boards. Got your canvas. Got your rings. You know, I pretty much how to make a wrestling ring. And you just wait, and the talent comes in, and everyone's talking together. Everyone's sharing this camaraderie, and then basically. It's about usually 30 minutes to an hour before the show starts. You, the crowds start coming in. And you see all this fellowship, all these friends getting together. There's, sometimes you'll see groups of people just carpool in for the event, talking about it, waiting to get in the door, just getting that excitement. The door is open. All of a sudden, they all pile in. They go to the bar. They get something to eat. Um, sometimes the talent... Well, have tables set up where they're selling the merch, selling their autographs. It's the times where you really get close to the talent. You get to say hi, you get to see how they're doing. Some of them will stay in character, but you feel that closeness there. You get your you get your seat. Sometimes you get ringside, and you you're basically just you sit there and sometimes you have a barricade that's right right here and then you have a ring that's like right there <laughs> you like you're really that close you have that intimate setting that intimate encounter with what's going on on the on the mat above you you just have this sense of closeness that you don't get when you go to the bigger arenas now don't get me wrong the bigger arenas are fine but merchandise is sold by people you really don't know and it's just loud and it's busy. It's hard to find people sometimes. You get to your seat and you feel so far away from everything that while you may feel like you're part of everything, for the most part, you're also kind of detached from what's going on as well. And you leave and you've had a good time. But it's nothing similar as to when you're leaving your local card and you're thinking, wow, I got to come back here Next week or next two or next three hour off the run, you find out that they run more often. Now, when I grew up in L.A., going to the L.A. sports arena, I would go to WWF shows basically every month because they ran on that type of schedule. You go, you watch the show, you get there early enough and you get in the right door. You get to that box office and you're getting those really close seats for the next event. You didn't even have to know who the card was. You knew it was going to be mentioned during the night, but you didn't even have to know who the card was. But you knew you were going to be there. Same as this. You'll go to your local card, and, you're, and you know they're going to be back in three weeks. Sometimes they may travel. Um, I did ring announcing for nine plus years for Scott County. I did ring announcing for AAW for about a year. And they would go from place to place. SEW now goes to three or four cities, whereas before it was like only one, but... They've come a long way. But the thing is, you know they're going to come back. You know you're not going to have to wait a year or two before they show up at your at your place again. So you go there every month and you're getting your enjoyment and you're getting that excitement. 
And for that brief moment, that ballroom, that bingo hall, that reception area is just a it's just a gladiator arena, a coliseum where you go to see your favorites go at it one on one, where you could cheer, where you could boo, where you could get excited and you could support your local folk that you know is pretty much homegrown and know pretty much live close to where you're at. Some people say bingo hall like it's an insult. Myself, it's like, why? It's like bingo hall, it's not a bad thing. Why say bingo hall like it's a bad thing? Because it's not. Because while, granted, there are times you'll have people shouting bingo after you get like a G49. And sometimes you'll get like people waiting in line for catering at a wedding reception. Sometimes you'll just get together with old friends at reunions. But at these same places, you're seeing magic happen. You're seeing crowds get excited. You're seeing fans get happy. You're seeing friendships continuing to grow. Sometimes you see friendships made. I've made a couple of friends, long-standing friends, from going to wrestling events. Nothing, it's like times I would never have met them otherwise. I met them at a wrestling event and became lifelong friends for a long time to come because of it. You say bingo hall like it's a bad thing. I beg to differ. Myself, give me a bingo hall any day. This, if you like this video, throw a like on it. Subscribe to me as well. Throw a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think. Give me an idea. If you agree with me, fine. If you don't agree with me, fine. Just let me know what you think. Until next time. This is Albert Gurrier for Slam and Synapses saying see you next time and so long from Wingside. Goodbye, everybody.